डॉक्टर भास्कर शनई हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पीडियाट्रिक्स एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बैंगलोर नाउ दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवन परमिशन टू एडमिनिस्टर कोविड वैक्सीन फॉर चिल्ड्रन बिटवीन फिफ्टीन एंड एटीन इयर्स देर आर सो मेनी क्वेश्चन बींग आस्ट सो मेनी डाउट्स आर एराइजिंग इन दि मैंड ऑफ पीपल पेरेंट्स एंड दि जनरल पब्लिक आलो I am today answering some of these questions. So the first question which is being asked is why do children need to be vaccinated? Yes this is an important question because people think is it necessary to vaccinate? The fact is that the children between 15 to 18 constitute a large chunk of patients. They are the people who can get infected in fact if you look at the unicef data there are about 25 crore adolescents and about 14 crores children are uh, between about 2 years and with this large numbers they may not get infected and they may not suffer a much but they are likely to transmit the disease to others so when we vaccinate these children the transmission can be prevented to others are children at the risk of getting sick with covid if you look at the previous two waves the children got infected but they never became very sick they can uh, get fever and uh, cough and other symptoms but the rate of hospitalization rate of seriousness rate of icu admissions and death rates have been very very low in children having said that these children though they are not suffering much but they are likely to transmit the disease and they are likely to infect the other members of the family so it is important that we halt this transmission they may not get sick but they are likely to transmit the disease are covid vaccines safe for children yes it is safe these vaccines have been tried in large number of clinical trials and we have the experience of vaccinating the adults crores of adults across the globe and we have seen that the amount of or the number of side effects are very very minimal and the same thing holds good for children also and especially in the age group of 15 to 18 years the chances of side effects are very very low and even if the child gets a side effect these are minor side effects like any other vaccine the routine childhood vaccines also can give rise to minor side effects like fever pain at the site of injection uh, myalgia or the body ache the vomiting sensation and uh, tiredness these are the common side effects which may be there after the vaccine but uh, these are not life threatening these are not serious side effects these side effects can come down with some simple medication within 24 to 48 hours they generally become all right is it safe to get other vaccines at the same time as covid vaccine that means can we administer the routine childhood vaccines during the covid vaccine yes it can be administered or you can have at least 15 days gap between the two vaccinations but absolutely there is no problem in simultaneous administration of all the childhood vaccines including flu vaccine any contraindications to covid vaccine in fact there are no absolute contraindications only if the child has the previous history of uh, hypersensitivity or anaphylaxis to the vaccine before or any of the components of the vaccine then probably we may have to avoid otherwise there is no uh, strict rule that we should avoid there is no contraindication for uh, the covid vaccine so what are the common side effects of covid vaccine as i told earlier there are no major side effects of the covid vaccines the most of the va- side effects are very minimal or trivial 
and they go off on their own i uh, with some simple medications like paracetamol they may get fever headache body ache tiredness vomiting sometimes the pain may be there swelling may be there at the site of injection and usually these disappear within 24 to 48 hours with some simple medications like paracetamol should i get the second dose even if i have side effects with the first dose as i told the side effects are very minimal but in spite of that even if you have some side effects you have to get the second dose there is absolutely no problem unless there is a life threatening event otherwise there is no problem people do ask there are lot so many brands of covid vaccines in the market which one is being administered here what is the vaccine name and is the dose same as adult dose the vaccine which is approved for children between 12 to 15 years in india at present and which is available at present is uh, manufactured by bharat biotech that is called as covaxin the dose is same as adults and children 0.5 ml intramuscularly at a gap of 28 days the f- difference between the first dose and second dose is 28 days is the vaccine compulsory this is one question which uh, people do ask in my opinion yes it is compulsory which where can be prevented we have to prevent the uh, why it is compulsory because one is to protect the individual second is to protect the community prevent the spread of the disease in the community am i protected from covid post vaccination what are the possibilities of getting covid after the vaccination this is a very common question yes vaccinated individuals are protected to a large extent to the tune of about 75 to 80% sometimes up to 85% if you look at all the vaccinations none of the vaccine gives 100% protection so is covid vaccine it can give protection up to 80% the importance is that even if the person who is vaccinated gets a covid infection he will be protected from the severe disease death hospitalization it has been found that vaccinated people are less likely to get admitted less likely to get a severe disease less likely to have a uh, ventilation less likely to have uh intensive care admission or icu admissions so even the death rate is very very negligible in the people who have been vaccinated then got infected so what i'm trying to tell you is that after vaccination the severity of the disease and death rate comes down to a large extent how many doses of the vaccine are required it is two doses at 28 days interval people do ask if i fever if i have fever post vaccination what should i do if you are comfortable not very sick just take paracetamol next 48 hours you just take paracetamol generally the symptoms will subside but if the fever is very severe and too much tiredness you may have to consult the doctor otherwise generally most of the symptoms get okay with the some simple medications and lot of hydration oral fluids will take care who are eligible to take the vaccine all children between 15 to 18 years are eligible to take the vaccine and especially those children who have underlying immunocompromised condition immunocompromised condition means whose immunity is low may be due to a chronic liver disease chronic kidney disease chronic lung disease neurological disease malignancy or those who are in steroids those who are on long term treatments like uh, uh, immunotherapy or anti cancer therapy and these are the children who are specially uh, they need the vaccine and they have to be vaccinated is registration at the covin portal is mandatory yes if you can register in covin portal but 
there is a provision for walk in also walk in and then get registered both are okay so direct and registration prior registration both are okay for administration of this vaccine what should be the point of concern in inoculating the kids as of now there is no point of concern as the vaccine has been found to be very safe and efficacious in adults so same thing when you extrapolate in children it has been found to be very safe and this has been tried in multiple centers across the country the clinical trials have been done and they have been found to be very safe and efficacious also there is no point of concern in inoculating the children so i request everyone to get your children who are between 15 completed within 18 years to get the vaccination and protect the child protect the family protect the society thank you